For millions of years, the Earth was inhabited by a variety of impressive animals that lived long before our own species appeared. From huge dinosaurs to giant aquatic creatures, these prehistoric animals are a constant source of mystery and admiration for people all over the world. In this video, we will explore some of the most incredible prehistoric creatures that ever lived and learn about their history, behavior, and how they shaped the world we live in today. So, get ready for an exciting journey through the distant past of Earth and prepare to discover some of the most amazing creatures that ever walked the Earth. Saber-toothed Tiger You know that big tiger that appears in cartoons with huge teeth? That's the famous saber-toothed tiger, also known as Smilodon. It was one of the most famous prehistoric creatures that existed during the Pleistocene period, about 2.5 million to 10,000 years ago. They lived in North and South America and were much larger than modern tigers, measuring about 1.20 meters tall and weighing up to 400 kilograms. Saber-toothed tigers were carnivorous and mainly fed on large herbivores such as mammoths, giant sloths, and bison. They had extremely large and sharp canine teeth, which could measure up to 28 centimeters in length. These teeth were used to pierce the skin and muscles of their prey, causing fatal injuries. In addition, saber-toothed tigers were solitary animals, which means they spent much of their lives doing the most important task, hunting. They had super powerful muscles in their front limbs, which allowed them to jump on their prey and knock them down as if they were stuffed toys. And of course, they could also bite and tear with their canine teeth, causing serious injuries to their prey. Although the extinction of saber-toothed tigers is not completely understood, there are several theories about what may have caused their extinction. Some scientists believe that climate change and the reduction of herbivore populations may have led to their extinction. Others suggest that competition with other predators, such as humans, may have played an important role in their extinction. But one thing is for sure, if you come across a saber-toothed tiger out there, run. Arthropleura Arthropleura existed during the Carboniferous period, about 300 million years ago, when most of the Earth was still covered by humid tropical forests. It was a true giant of the past, with its flattened and segmented body and a large number of legs, resembling a giant centipede, and reaching up to 2.5 meters in length. And you thought that cockroach in the kitchen was big, huh? Despite its scary appearance, its teeth were small and undeveloped, indicating that it was a vegetarian or rather, herbivorous and probably spent its days munching on plants. Although it looked like a giant insect, Arthropleura was actually a distant relative of modern millipedes and centipedes. They had a tough exoskeleton that protected them from predators, and their articulated legs allowed them to move quickly on the ground. Despite its scary appearance, Arthropleura was harmless to humans, as it went extinct long before humans existed. Its extinction is believed to have been caused by a change in climate and competition with other herbivorous animals. Today, fossilized remains of Arthropleura are found all over the world and give us an idea of how diverse and strange life on Earth was during the Carboniferous period. Even so, it is safe to say that there is no nostalgia for this giant and scary creature. Epic Yawn Epic Yawn, also known as the bone-crushing dog or bare-faced dog, was a species of giant dog that lived in North America during the Miocene period, about 16 to 5 million years ago. They were larger and stronger than modern dogs, with some individuals measuring up to 1.5 meters in length and weighing over 100 kilograms. Epicyon was a carnivorous animal and primarily fed on large prey such as bison and horses. They had powerful jaws and sharp teeth that allowed them to hunt and kill large animals with ease. Despite their fierce appearance, some scientists believe they may have also eaten fruits and other plant-based foods during times of food scarcity. Unlike modern dogs, Epicyon lived in family groups and hunted together. They were very strong animals and had powerful muscles in their front legs, which allowed them to dominate their prey easily. Additionally, they were also capable of running at high speeds to chase down their prey. 
Although it is not known exactly what caused the extinction of Epikyon, it is believed that competition with other predators and changes in climate may have played a significant role. In any case, Epikyon is a fascinating creature of the past, and even though it no longer exists, its memory lives on today through fossils and our imagination. If you think your current dog is big and strong, imagine having an Epikyon at home? Would you be able to walk it or would it have to walk you? Arctidus Simus The short-faced bear, also known as Arctidus Simus, was a species of giant bear that lived during the Pleistocene period, around 1.8 million to 11,000 years ago. They inhabited North America and were enormous animals, measuring over 3 meters in height and weighing around 900 kilograms. The short-faced bear was an omnivorous animal, meaning that it fed on both meat and plants. Its diet varied depending on the season and conditions in which they lived. During the summer, they mainly fed on plants, such as fruits and roots. During the winter, when food was scarce, they hunted large animals such as bison and mammoths. Although they were imposing animals, short-faced bears were not very agile. They moved slowly and used their enormous physical strength to hunt and defend themselves. Their strong jaws and teeth allowed them to break bones and crush the skulls of their prey. Can you imagine the force of their paw on you? It certainly wasn't a joke. Unfortunately, they became extinct about 11,000 years ago, along with other Ice Age animal species. The exact cause of their extinction is still unknown, but it is believed that climate change and human hunting were important factors. Despite no longer existing, short-faced bears are remembered as incredible and imposing animals that lived in a very different world than we know today. Their bones and fossilized remains continue to be studied by scientists worldwide, helping to unravel the mysteries of our prehistoric past. But we can't help but imagine what it would be like to have a short-faced bear as a pet, it would certainly be a social media sensation. The Mega Piranha the Mega Piranha was a true terror of South American rivers. It was an extinct species of carnivorous fish that lived during the Neogene period, about 8 to 2.6 million years ago. It inhabited rivers in South America and was one of the largest freshwater fish ever discovered, measuring over 1 meter in length and weighing up to 20 kilograms. With its sharp teeth, it made the common piranha look like a harmless little fish. The mega piranha was so big that it could easily swallow a medium-sized dog hole. The mega piranha mainly fed on other fish and aquatic animals such as crustaceans and mollusks. It had a powerful bite, with serrated teeth that could easily tear the flesh of its prey. Although its bite was more like that of a shark, the mega piranha was not very fast or agile. It moved slowly and relied on its brute strength to capture its prey. What it lacked in speed, it made up for in its voracious appetite. Unfortunately, the mega piranha became extinct about 2.5 million years ago, along with other species of animals from the Cenozoic era. Despite its scary appearance, the mega piranha was an important predator in the aquatic ecosystem of South America. Its fossils continue to be studied by scientists around the world, helping to better understand the history of life on our planet. But don't worry, you don't have to worry about encountering a mega piranha on your next fishing trip. And if you happen to come across a common piranha, it's best to keep your fingers away from its sharp teeth. Meganura Meganura was a true giant of dragonflies, an extinct species of insect that lived during the Carboniferous period, about 300 million years ago. It was one of the largest dragonfly species ever discovered, with a wingspan that measured over 70 centimeters. Can you imagine if one of these fell on your lap while you were sunbathing? Meganura fed on other insects and small animals, such as fish and amphibians. It had strong and sharp mandibles that allowed it to capture and tear its prey into pieces. Its diet varied depending on the availability of food and the conditions of the environment in which it lived. Unfortunately, Meganura became extinct about 250 million years ago, along with other animal species from the Paleozoic era. The exact cause of its extinction is still unknown, 
but it is believed that changes in climate and competition for food resources may have contributed to its extinction. Although it no longer exists, Meganura is remembered as one of the largest and most fascinating insects that ever existed. Its fossils continue to be studied by scientists around the world, helping to better understand the evolution and history of life on Earth. Maybe one day we can find a life-size Meganura in some bizarre theme park, who knows? Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and leave your like. It helps us a lot and motivates us to keep producing these videos for you.